I'd like to show you some additions to uh, the game room setup uh, which involve the super gun which is made by RGB and uh, to my knowledge this is the only one in existence but if there's a lot of interest out there he may well um, be able to build more of these because they're actually very simple and what it is is a, um, a jammer connector and um, he soldered a, a speaker um, wire which is uh, in the form of an RCA jack so there's a positive in the middle and negative on the outside so the amplifier is actually built in to these boards already even tiny ones like this one uh, what I've done is um, connected it to my jammer harness and I've also um, got myself some speakers which I already had they're part of a surround sound system by a company called Spherex I'll show you what it sounds like because um, I think it sounds even better than the Bang & Olufsen. This is where I've got my speaker set up in the game cupboard. It's right at the back of that container which really amplifies the bass. This is on the police bat right there. Um, and um, it sounds great with the sound booster. Right, the other thing I'd like to show you is um, this, and it's called the Ricoh PCB. It's also made by RGB. The way that the Ricoh works is that at any point during the game, you hold down the start button for player one, and if you want to remap the buttons, you hold down button one. And you hold it down for about three seconds, and a red LED will, light will come on on the Ricoh. You then let go. You press the button that you want to use as your one button, i.e. your main fire button, once. So in this case I'm going to use that one. You press the button that you want to use as button two twice, so that one, and the button that you want to use as three, three times. I think it can use up to six. And then you press start to come out of remapping mode. If you want to change the rapid fire option, you hold down start and button two. Uh, I must add, you are using the real button 1 and 2 and not the remapped button 1 and 2. So you hold that down until the red LED light comes on. You then press that to engage auto fire. Um, you press it again to change the rapid fire intensity and again and then to turn it off. I think there are four different stages, it says in the instructions. Uh, similarly on button 2, normally that's a bomb but if it's a secondary fire button press it once to engage rapid fire, second, three and off. Press start to come out of rapid fire mode and it's as simple as that. Hello, well I uh, realise that this video has been a little bit noodly and serious so I thought I'd do something to make it a little bit fun at the end and um, just like my friend Fagin did on his um, butt kicker video, I think that's what it's called, was it an ass blaster or a bum fudger, something like that anyway, um, I'm going to turn the volume up to maximum on the PCB and risk blowing the speaker all in the name of entertainment. That's nothing, okay. Turn it up, that's like a fraction of a turn. Keep going, keep going. Keep... Try that again. That music was a little bit blah blah blah. So is that.